mistake again, Peg. <laughs> well, that's four nights in a row. Oh, I'm sorry, Al. But steak is all that Kelly's secret admirer sent over. <laughs> thought we had a lobster around here. Wonder what could have happened to it. <laughs> No drawn butter? What do they think I am? Uh, Bud, would you like some creme brulee? No, I don't want any creme brulee. Good, more for me. <laughs> Aren't you two just the least bit curious about who's sending all this stuff? I mean, some mystery guy sees Kelly on a commercial and starts lavishing us all with presents. He could be a maniac. Oh, Bud. Maniacs don't send nice gifts like roses and chocolates and Chanel number no. five. <laughs> well, I, for one, will not gorge myself on my sister's misfortune. That's yeah, right. true. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Guess what my secret admirer brought for me today? 12 long stem roses. Al, how come you never send me roses? I don't like you, Peg. <laughs> anyway, Mom, I was at my audition for Easy Off Jeans. You know, the jeans so tight that you're the only one who knows you're wearing pants. <laughs> now, this is a nationwide commercial. I mean, all 13 colonies. <laughs> so naturally, I was really nervous. Then all of a sudden, this delivery guy brings me these flowers. Oh. A any pork? No, Daddy. But the card said that my secret admirer is going to come over here today at 5.30. Tell him to bring pork. Dad, don't you know what that means? He's stalking her. I know, I've done this to women. I mean, I mean, I know. I, I watch a lot of Eric Roberts movies. <laughs> Budkenstein. First of all, following your hand to bed is not considered stalking. And second of all, stalkers don't invite you to the opera. Look, L.A. Boom. That's La Boheme, you pincushion. <laughs> Mom, are you really gonna let Kelly go off with a complete and total stranger? Look, Bud, I am a woman. And we felines have a way of picking the right guy. That's why nobody has picked you. Now, trust me, I know a Mr. Right when I see him. Kelly. Stitch, what are you doing here? <laughs> Kelly, I fear the chrome on the ball hitch of our love is flaking. <laughs> so tell me, you seeing someone else? Is there a Kelly Bundy here? I'm Kelly Bundy. <laughs> Thanks. Just tell me, Kelly. I can take it. You seen someone else? Look, Stitch, it's nothing personal. It's just that I found someone who knows how to treat me like a lady. Hey, when we go out to dinner, don't I let you talk in the clown's head? <laughs> Listen, Stitch, what my daughter is trying to say is that I may not be ready for a commitment just yet. But don't take it personally. Hey, I like you. And if you'd be happy with a friendship instead of a relationship, you can come here whenever you want to. Yeah.